व्यू तो देखो साल उठते देखते को बोरा So friends, this is how it all started. A random travel plan brought me to the hippie village of Kasol. Kasol is a beautifully situated village in Himachal Pradesh and famous for its hippie culture, unique cafes, and laid-back touristic lifestyle. It's an amazing place to chill and spend your time. During this time, I interacted with a lot of locals, and it is here where I came across various stories of this village called Malana. Malana's unique identity, the beautifully remote mountain location. and the mystery captured my attention i immediately made plans and left for malana malana is situated far away into the mountains almost 25 kilometers away from kasol and so taxi is the only option to get there there is an evening bus service to malana but that's from another town called jari this is the only way to reach malana as the road to malana ends at malana in the map you'll admire the green forests surrounding it check out google satellite maps i am not sure how it escaped so many tourists till now we boarded the cab and it took us around 1 hour in the road winding up the steep mountains the view was simply mesmerizing enjoy the ride guys
let's talk about Malana while you enjoy the visuals. The location of Malana is to be seen to be believed. For that very reason, even today it is still much isolated from the modern world, that is apart from the tourists who visit it. Malana offers peace and tranquility and being almost cut off from the modern world. Within that beauty lies an even beautiful secret. No, it's not a secret of hashish or marijuana. It's very well known that the quality of hashish in Malana is one of the best in the world. Its reputation is spread far across Europe and America. It's very famous worldwide by the name Malana Cream, available in Amsterdam cannabis menus. Search for it. The secret of Malana lies in the beautiful flora and fauna. The wonderful weather all through the year. The beautiful serene surroundings. The majestic view of the valley. The opportunity to easily trek high into the mountains, limitless mountains. And the mystery of a village where time has stopped long ago. This is why everyone must visit Malana. Malana is reached by trekking one hour from the last drop off point. The trek may seem too much but trust me it is worth it. The view gets better and better. You will find several cafes on the trek that offer food and water so don't worry. Of course they will also try to sell you Malana cream. Marijuana grows unstoppable like grass everywhere. In fact it is so common that you can barely miss it. And probably that's why it is called weed because it grows like one. But the plantation fields of good quality marijuanas are high up in the mountains, about 5 to 6 hours trek upwards from even Malana. Also the views are amazing in these upper reaches of the mountains. A trek early in the morning is the most recommended. You need to trek a couple of hours into the peaks to explore and you will not be disappointed. It is so serene and calm and breathtakingly beautiful. The key is in being secluded while still being connected somewhat. Mobile signals work perfectly and 4G signals are available so you are not really stranded. As you trek and reach the village, the difference in looks and unwelcome stares of villagers is very obvious. They take outsiders with suspicion, god knows why. Also, there are message boards that clearly warn against touching anything. Most probably you will cross the village square where you will find the old and the new temple of Jamurishi, the village deity. This is also the place where the village meetings take place. This deity is worshipped and much feared by the people. No one, absolutely no one dares disobey his commands. Every time there is a major decision to be made, a fight to be settled or some issues in the community. Jamlu Rishi is approached. His commands are conveyed to villagers to an oracle who is the head priest of the village. Take a close look at the temples and the engravings. They are very unique and very different from Indian temples. I was surprised to see an engraving of Lord Ganesha on the main door. I am not sure what to make of it. Outsiders cannot stay in the village. You can stay in guest houses or camps above the village for an unobstructed view of the mountains and the valley. Usually accommodation can be as low as 250 to 400 rupees per person. Food can be very expensive as it's a remote village. Electricity also can be an issue in Malana as there was none when we stayed. But we were so busy admiring the beauty we did not notice it. It is better to go exploring and chat with the villagers and interact with them. Watch them how they do not touch outsiders and keep away. Some people are friendly to converse. Several mysteries and several stories. But this place has to be seen to be believed for its unique tradition, the remote lifestyle, the strange people, the amazing surroundings. It's a full on adventure of sorts. Villages are open to converse while a whole lot of others make you feel unwelcome. It has its own unique cultural and social fabric, unchanged since ages. Go explore and find your own version of this story. Maybe you'll find something interesting that nobody knows. I'll leave you here and let you continue your adventure on your own journey. Happy exploring!